Welcome, my dear students. This is Mrs. Suhir Zaki Abdel Fattah, and we are going to continue our curriculum for Prep 2 students. And uh, let's start. Uh, in our lesson today, we are going to learn about the wave motion. And at the end of this lesson, uh, you will be able to recognize the role of the wave in transferring the energy recognize the concept of wave motion and use uh, materials and tools to compare between transverse and longitudinal waves. Now let's see what is meant by wave motion. Wave motion is one of the examples of periodic motion. We have studied before the oscillatory motion. It's uh, uh, the first example and the second example is our lesson about the wave motion. To uh, know more about the wave motion, remember if you want to throw a stone in water, the circles uh, of water will propagate beginning from the center and towards the water edges. This motion represents simply what is meant by the wave motion. Wave motion has important role in transferring the energy. Let's do a simple experiment to learn how the wave motion transfers the energy. We will arrange the domino pieces in a row at equal distance as in the photo and we will push the first piece. What will we observe? We will observe that the pieces fall one after the other and don't change the positions. Now let's explain what happened in our experiment. When the first domino piece falls, its energy transfers to the second piece and then the energy transfers to the next one then the next one and this and so on until all the uh, domino pieces fall down so transfer of energy continues while the pieces don't change their positions so what we will conclude from the previous experiment we will conclude that the disturbance of uh, the particles of the medium that propagates and transfer the energy in the direction of propagation is known as the wave. So what is meant once more by the wave? The wave is the disturbance that propagates and transfer the energy in the direction of propagation. Now we will do another simple experiment to uh, simplify the concept of transfer of energy. We will arrange a row of coin just like in the figure and we will push coin X towards the first coin in the row, like in the figure. What will happen? The coin Y, which is the last coin in the row, will move. That is show the transfer of energy from coin X to the first coin in the row, then to the second, to the third, and finally, when the energy reaches coin Y, it moves away from the other coin. To conclude the concept of wave motion, we will do the uh, experiment the steps of our experiment, we will fix a horizontally glass tube like in the photo. Then put the burning candle at one of the ends of the tube. On the other end or at the other end, we will tap a turning fork and let it vibrate while we will near a burning essence stick from this uh, opening also. What will we observe? 
we will observe that the flame of the candle vibrates to the right and to the left as the sound waves transfer uh, energy from the first end to the other end towards the uh, candle flame and this causes the flame to vibrate and the burning uh, essence stick its vapor doesn't enter the tube and this indicates that the air molecules don't move with the sound waves so the molecules only vibrate inside the uh, glass tube while the molecules don't move from their places now let's explain what happened during our experiment energy is generated from the turning fork this energy transferred in the form of sound waves from the first end of the tube to the second end and this caused the candle flame to vibrate to the right and to the left uh, the second point, the medium particles don't move from their places. They only vibrate, by, but don't move from their places. And this explained as the uh, smoke particles don't uh, enter the tube or move to the other sides towards the candle. They stayed stayed in this side around the turning fork and this indicates that the medium particles don't move from their places during the propagation of the sound waves which carry energy to the candle flame so what uh, we conclude from uh, uh, this experiment the movement resulting from the vibration of the medium particles at a certain moment in a specific direction is known as the wave motion. So what is meant by the wave motion? It is the movement resulting from the vibration of medium particles at certain moment and in a specific direction. Uh, from uh, our previous explanation, we now know two important points the first point is the, the wave motion which is the motion produced because of the vibration of medium particles at certain moment and in a definite direction and the line of wave propagation which is the direction through which the wave propagates please remember that from this experiment the medium particles don't move from their positions they only vibrate around uh, their original positions and the wave propagates carrying the energy we now learned that the energy transferred by the wave so the wave propagates carrying the energy in the same direction of its uh, propagation now we are going to classify the types of waves types of waves are classified at the first according to the direction of vibration of medium particles so the first classification is according to the direction of vibration of medium particles relative to the direction of propagation we can classify the waves to transverse waves and longitudinal waves the second classification is according to the ability to propagate and transfer energy and according to the ability or to propagate we classify the waves into mechanical waves that needs a medium to travel through like sound waves for example and electromagnetic waves that don't need a medium to propagate like in case of light waves now let's learn about both transverse and longitudinal waves and we will begin by transverse waves to learn about transverse waves we are going to do a simple experiment we need these materials spring 
colored tap and a nail. In our experiment, we will fix one end of the spring to a wall using a nail, while we will tie a colored tab in the middle of the spring, like in the photo here, and move the free end of the spring up and down in a perpendicular way to the axis of the spring. What will we observe? We will observe that the rings of the spring move up and down, forming crest and trough. This is called crest, and the down part is called trough. The colored tap, which represents one of the medium particles, vibrates up and down during this uh, motion. Also, we uh, will observe that uh, the wave propagates in uh, a direction that is perpendicular to the vibration of medium particles. Uh, like in the figure, this is the direction of wave propagation, while the vibration up and down in a perpendicular way to the wave propagation direction. From uh, the previous part of the experiment, what will you conclude? We will conclude that the transverse wave consists of uh, crests and the troughs. This is very important. So, transverse wave consists of crests, which is this part, is called the crest, and troughs, which is the uh, this part of the wave so consists of crests and troughs uh, number two during the wave propagation medium particles don't move from their positions this is very important but they only vibrate around the rest so the medium particles vibrate up and down around the rest position also, we will conclu conclude that uh, the disturbance in uh, which the particles of the medium uh, vibrate is perpendicular to the direction of wave propagation, as we mentioned before. So, the medium particles vibrate up and down in a perpendicular way to the direction of wave propagation. Uh, this is called the transverse wave so in transverse wave it's very important to learn that the medium particles vibrate perpendicular to the wave propagation direction and the wave consists of crests and troughs so now what is meant by transverse wave transverse wave is the disturbance that causes the medium particles to vibrate perpendicular up and down to the direction of wave propagation once more this is the direction of the wave propagation while the medium particles vibrate like in the photo up and down in a perpendicular way to the wave propagation direction what is meant by crest and what is meant by trough? The crest is the highest point of the particles of the medium, like in the photo. This is the crest. The crest is the highest point of the particles of the medium in transverse wave. And what is meant by trough? Trough is the reverse. Is It's the lowest point, like in here, the lowest point of the particles of the medium in transverse wave. So the transverse wave consists of crests and troughs. Crest is the highest point of the uh, particles of the medium in the wave and the trough is the lowest point. Now we are going to learn about the longitudinal waves and we will use the previous tools but we will do um, uh, another steps to learn about the longitudinal waves 
We will fix one end of the spring once more to the wall using the nail and tie the colored tab as uh, the previous. In the third step, we will pull and push the coil rings from left to right and we will observe what will happen. In this case, we will observe that the wave propagates along the direction of wave propagation. So the wave propagates along the direction of wave propagation. Uh, so uh, what will we conclude? We will conclude that uh, the longitudinal waves consist of uh, or form it of uh, compressions and reflections. This uh, is called reflection. This, this part is called reflection. While the part at which uh, the particles are very close to each other is called compression. So in uh, longitudinal waves, the, during the wave propagation, the medium particles don't move from rest position, but vibrate around the rest position, forming compressions and rarefaction. So what is meant by longitudinal waves according to our experiment? It's the disturbance in which the medium particles vibrate along the direction of wave propagation and this motion is called longitudinal waves. This is the uh, shape of longitudinal waves. It's uh, the disturbance in which medium particles vibrate along the direction of wave propagation. So the vibration will be to the right and to the left along the wave propagation direction, forming compressions area and rarefactions area. So we must learn what is meant by compression and what is meant by rarefaction. The compression is the, the area where the longitudinal uh, wave uh, particles uh, becomes very close to each other, forming a highest density area and highest pressure area. So this uh, uh, part of motion uh, is called compression. So the compression is the area at which the medium particles are of highest density and highest pressure. While in case of rarefaction, rarefaction is the completely reverse. It's the area of longitudinal wave at which the medium particles uh, will be at the lowest density and lowest pressure, as we can see in uh, this foot. Now, let's uh, have final um, comparison between transverse and longitudinal waves according to, to uh, this photo. The longitudinal waves consist of uh, compressions and rarefaction, this part of compression and this part of uh, rarefaction. While in case of transverse wave, it consists of crests and troughs. The second point, uh, the longitudinal waves, the motion of medium particles will vibrate along the wave propagation direction. While in transverse wave, the medium particles vibrate up and down in a perpendicular way to the wave propagation direction. This is very important point to learn about transverse and longitudinal wave. What are the example of transverse wave? It's like the water wave and like also the light waves, while longitudinal waves like the sound wave. So our example in longitudinal wave is the sound wave, while transverse wave like the water wave and like also the light waves. This is 
uh, our uh, real life application uh, in our lesson, which is uh, a physiotherapy tops or a jacuzzi. And jacuzzi is a top where water moves in a circular waves and used to treat to treat uh, uh, people uh, suffer from sprains and cramps by using hot water, while uh, people uh, who uh, suffer from a nervous tension, we can use a uh, jacuzzi of cold water to treat uh, them. Uh, now, dears, we are going to uh, solve our first question, write the scientific uh, term for each of the following. Number one, the disturbance in which the particles of the medium vibrate perpendicular to the direction of wave propagation. We have learned that the particles of the medium vibrate perpendicular in case of a transverse wave. Number two, the waves which need a medium to propagate. We have learned that the classification of waves according to the way of transferring the energy includes two types of waves, which uh, are the mechanical waves that need a medium to propagate, and this is our answer here, and the electromagnetic waves that uh, don't need medium to propagate, like in case of light waves. Number three, the movement resulting from the vibration of uh, the particles, which uh, is uh, the wave. Number four, the disturbance in which uh, the particles of the medium vibrate along the direction of wave propagation. And this is the case of uh, longitudinal wave. Now let's uh, answer, uh, give reason. Number one. Water waves are transverse waves. Why water waves are transverse waves? Because water particles vibrate in a direction perpendicular to the direction of the wave's propagation. And so water waves are transverse waves. The second give reason. Sound waves are longitudinal waves. Why sound waves are longitudinal waves? Because the uh, medium particles, which is uh, the air maybe, or water, or whatever medium, particles vibrate along the direction of the wave's propagation. This is our last question for today. Me, Mrs. Sohail Zaki. Abdel Fattah was with you today. I hope it was a very uh, fruitful time for you and see you next session, inshallah.